Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Blizzard Beach Water Park and I am so excited because I've never been here before. So I can't wait to go show you around the park and share my experiences with you. They have some amazing attractions here, including Summit Plummet, which is one of the world's tallest and fastest body slides. And I can't wait to see if I'm gonna actually ride that. And then I don't know, I just wanna hang out and enjoy the park. So we're gonna eat some food, ride some water slides and have a beautiful blizzard beach kind of day anywho's let's go do this I just love the fact that I'm going to a water park in November. Uh, it is 77 degrees out right now, and it's so cool that this water park is a winter-themed water park. Look at all the signs they have. Buy now, slay later. Slay. I really love the theming of this water park already, and it's kind of cool because they have a backstory. Back in 1977, there was a freak snowstorm here in Florida, and people decided to actually build a ski resort with all the snow snow but not realizing that it's Florida all of the snow melted and it turned into a water park isn't that cool like Disney never lets me down on the theming and I can't wait to just go explore I really love the idea behind a ski resort that is melting and turning into a water park I think it's genius and look at this little tiny like snow family they're melting and it's kind of like a fountain I love it up there you can see summit plummet which is the uh, water slide that I told you is one of the world's uh, tallest and fastest and you can actually see a ski lift you have to take a ski lift to get to the top of it so I'm excited to actually try to ride that oh there's a park map we should look at it. I brought my GoPro with me today, so we're going to be filming on the rides themselves, and I'm going to be able to show you what uh, like Summit Plummet's going to be like, and then that awesome raft ride, and then also I want to get some of the food too. I hear they've got new food items. I don't know what's new or not, so I'm going to have to look it up because this is my first time here, uh, but I kind of want to like explore the park in a whole, try the food, the rides, the theming, a little bit of everything. I feel like this water park is definitely a lot bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was very small, but looking at this map, it seems like there's a lot to do here. Here's a, a list of all of the attractions with the wait times. Right now, everything seems to be less than 15 minutes on opening day, too. Snowwhere else like it. Huh, very clever. And they even have some dining. So I want to try uh, some of the food here. They got something in the lodge, frost. Frostbite Freddy's, that sounds fancy. Uh, warming Hut Polar Pub, Polar Pub, ooh. I'm wearing my Nightmare Before Christmas Roosevelt today because I thought it was fitting for the winter themed water park. You know, I got Santa Claus on there and uh, Halloween just passed and now we're rolling into Christmas and I kind of liked it. Because I have most of my electronics on me, I want to go video the ski lift so I can show you a little bit of a better view of the park and then put my stuff away. But uh, you can't take the ski lift back down. So uh, it's either take a water slide down or uh, take the stairs down and we'll figure it out. But at least it's good to know that you can ride the ski lift without actually having to go down any of the water slides. So we're going to actually go up now. Look at that. Look at Summit Plummet up there. Wow, what a view of the whole park, and it's only gonna get better once we get on. Oh boy, look at this, it looks like I'm skiing, and here we go. Wow, it is so beautiful up here. It's a little bouncy, uh, it's a little bouncy, that's why the camera's probably going up and down, but look at the views. I love this. Yo, like, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of coming to water parks, but I would probably come here just to sit and ride this all day if they'd let me. I wish it'd let you come back down, but they don't let you. But can you imagine if you can just ride this all day, kind of like the people mover was back in the day? Ugh. Oh. It's also good to point out, in case you don't want to actually ride the ski lift, you can uh, just take the stairs. And I'm sure with Disney, they probably have some other accessible way. You know what I mean? D Disney's really, really good with that, I feel like, compared to other water parks and theme parks in the world. To the left is Summit Plummet. Right there it is. That's the final uh, stretch. You can see people probably coming down now. That is pretty high up there. We're almost at the top now. It was less than five minutes, I feel like. It actually moves pretty quick. Look at that. I keep on seeing people go down it. I get scared. I'm like, oh no, I don't think I can do it. Huh. 
Yoo-hoo, big summer blowout! That was so awesome, and now we are at the top of the mountain. They're playing Christmas music. Right now, they're playing Frosty the Snowman. And it was so cool. As I was going up on the ski lift, I felt like I was in that Price, uh, the Price is Right game. You know the one I'm talking about? And now, we'll, uh, let's check out some of the water slides, and then go put the stuff away and get ready to ride. I also love once you get to the top, they have all of the rides like immediately as soon as you get off the lift. Summit Plummet right here, Slusher Gusher. Over on this side, they have Mount Gushmore. They've got the Team Boat Springs over here, the family raft ride. And it's just so cozy up here. Wow, we're, I, feel all our, I feel like we're high up. I don't feel like we're in Florida actually, especially with all the trees. This is so stunning. It's kind of funny because I'm not the biggest fan of water parks. I've been to Typhoon Lagoon and I liked it a lot, but that's why I've never come here before. Uh, and I feel like Disney does water parks right. Like they do, like, uh, you know what I mean? Most water parks, it's not that like fun for me. I don't know why, like there's not like much theming. The attractions are just kind of like thrill based, but I love like the way Disney does it. So here I am, I'm gonna test it out and I wanna see what it's gonna be like compared to Typhoon Lagoon. I didn't think anything could top the ski lift, but wait till you see this view when you get to the top. Wow, look at this. I love it. That right there is Tower of Terror directly in the middle of the screen. You can see uh, the swan and dolphin. You can see Galaxy's Edge. You can see everything. You can see Guardians of the Galaxy. This is such a great view. I, I'm like obsessed. And we're not even all the way up. Like Summit Plummet is above us. Look at that. I love how it actually has like that little like fake out. Looks like you're actually gonna go off the, the edge there and then fly out. Can you imagine if you did though? Man, that would be a fall and a half. All right, it's time to go put the camera and cell phone away, change out, and get ready to enjoy some of the water activities and switch out to the GoPro. I hope the sound quality isn't going to be too different because it's a little muffled. That's how the standard GoPro is. Uh, but yeah, we're going to head back down. Hopefully the walk isn't that far. I'll give you guys a little time lapse to show you how many steps uh, it is uh, in case you want to come up and not ride the ski lift. We are switched over to the GoPro now and we're gonna go ride, I think maybe the raft ride, uh, the one that I saw when I was up at the top there. Uh, but uh, I'm excited and I have the uh, wrist strap so I'm gonna actually strap it to my wrist. Uh, I'll try to keep it as steady as possible but we are going down a water slide. I wanted to take the ski lift up to the top again but it's stuck. People are stuck there so it looks like we're gonna take the stairs up. We're going all the way up. It was definitely harder to walk up the stairs than it was going down, but I think uh, I think we're gonna do one of the raft rides first. Then may, maybe work up the courage to do Summit Plummet. I'm not guaranteeing I'm doing it. I gotta, gotta get the courage. <laughs> I think we're gonna start off at Runoff Rapids. They have three uh, different uh, tube runs up here, one of which is completely enclosed, but I want to do the one that's outdoors. Look at this. It's like we're in the woods. It's so nice. It's definitely not what I was expecting, and there's no lines. Wow, look at this. This is like a major attraction, I think, and there's no line. We're walking right up, and I like that we don't have to bring our own tubes up either. They have a tube lift, a cargo lift that actually takes all the tubes up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my lanta it's going too fast too fast ah! oh this is so beautiful though i'm flying Woo! Yeah! oh no ah! <laughs> oh 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 we got some water there Ooh, oh my lanta when does this end i love it what are those what are those? <laughs> oh, now I'm floating into the lazy river. 
I love that. And now I kind of want to go do the one that's enclosed, but it's kind of, it's dark, so you guys won't be able to see it. Or should I go straight Summit Plummet? I don't know. I keep on thinking I gotta go do it, I gotta go do it. But like, I'm literally scared. So I'm like, no, let's just do a couple other water slides. So maybe one or two more water slides or, you know, water attractions. <laughs> Since we're all the way up here now, I think I should just get it out of the way and go ride it. I'm probably gonna love it and wanna ride it again, but it does have some cautions here. Take a high speed white knuckle plunge down the world's tallest and fastest free fall body slide, which drops you 120 feet. That's insane. Clothing with rivets, buckles, exposed metal, or neoprene is not permitted. I'm pretty sure I butchered neoprene. But uh, yeah, glasses and loose jewelry should be removed. So I gotta take off the glasses. I don't even think anybody's in line for this right now. Whew, more stairs, lots of stairs here. But we're gonna actually reach the highest up there. Oh, it also looks like there's a bee's nest. I see a lot of uh, yellow jackets there. We made it all the way to the top. Oh, oh boy. I'm actually uh, kind of hyperventilating. Oh, but that looks really fun. Oh, I want to go do the blue raft ride after this. Oh, I think that's the ride I was going to do. That looks like a lot of fun. All right, let's do this. <sighs> okay, okay. So, what do I do? I just sit. Oh, I didn't know that did that. <laughs> okay. Cross my eagles while I lay down. Oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Cross my ankles. Okay. I am so scared. Okay, I'm leaning back now. Oh, go up and lean back. Oh my lanta. I'm keeping my legs crossed. I'm keeping my legs crossed. Let's do this. Oh god. Okay. Summit Plummet was amazing and it was so fast. I screamed. I screamed a high-pitched scream, but I would definitely do it again. I loved it. I thought it was so fun. That was my first time ever doing a slide like that. I've never done a slide before where you are not in a raft. Like, I've never done one before. I was always too afraid. And uh, I picked a good one. I picked a good first one. So I'm happy about that. But now I want to take a break and go get some food and see if they got any new food. Because like I said, I heard that they have new food here. Um, or maybe I just try some of the old food because I've never had it. It's all new to me. A friend of mine told me they had some new churros over here at the Blizzard Beach Arctic Expedition. And I love how it's like an Arctic like vehicle. And the churros that they have, they have a s'mores churro. And then they also have a banana split churro. That sounds interesting. Banana slices, strawberries, pineapple, chunks of cookie, brownie. Oh, I think I'm going to get that. A banana split churro. This might be the best looking churro I think I've ever seen. And I appreciate how they actually cut them up into little pieces. And that way you can actually get a bite with every single topping on it. Isn't that cool? Look at that, bananas, strawberries, brownies, pineapples, and it's huge. Look at that, I am so excited to try this. It's just so convenient when they cut it all up because then all you do is you break off a piece of banana like this. And then you take just one of the churros and they evenly distribute the toppings so that every piece has a little bit of everything. It's perfect, it's perfect for me. So cheers to banana spit churros. <laughs> Something I never had. I didn't think banana split churros would be a good combination, but boy oh boy was I wrong. That is amazing. That is so good. And you gotta make sure you eat them fresh when they're nice and hot and fluffy. And I love this. This is, this is, I wish I got the s'mores one though. I would love to see what the s'mores one tasted like, but I don't think it could be better than this one. I really don't. This is definitely the best churro I've ever had. Like not like a basic churro. You know what I mean? Not like I love Disneyland churros where it's just the churro, but like a, like a churro dessert where there's other ingredients. This is the best one. It is so good and I definitely would get it again. 
enough of the churro business. I need to get something a little bit savory, and I hear they've got new wings here that are good. I don't know what flavor they are, but I think we're gonna go look for them. You gotta eat now, and then wait to get back in the water, because we don't want to get a cramp. Oh look, they actually have a, like a semi-wave pool here. Because it is a lot of stairs and also a long time to wait for the uh, ski lift, uh, I figured I'd eat food all at once and then also ride rides or water slides all at once. So we rode a couple in the beginning. Now, like I said, we're going to eat some food and uh, they continue eating food. And then we're going to go back and ride some more rides. And I want to get in the Lazy River. I love the Lazy River. It's my favorite thing and I could spend days just going around in it. And I would like to see what this one's like. I see they got some fun stuff and... Uh, they were really cool. <laughs> Here are the wings I was talking about. The garlic Parmesan wings and honey sriracha wings. You can get them by the six or the 10 piece. It's 10 piece, you get a souvenir pal, uh, uh, pal. A souvenir pal, I seen Mickey Mouse there. You guys, you do get a pal. Uh, and you can, miss, uh, you can mix them up a little bit. So you can get a little bit uh, garlic Parmesan, a little sriracha, and that's what I'm gonna do. And here they are. Look at that. They put the garlic parmesan on top and I think the honey sriracha at the bottom. And I love this little sand pail. Does that look like Typhoon Tilly there? Well, maybe. Oh, I guess it's kind of everything. Oh, yeah, there's Blizzard Beach over here. Made it universal sand pails. Sand pals. First, I think I'm going to try one of the garlic parmesan wings. And they actually look like pretty decent wings. Lots of sauce, very saucy, just the way we like it. And uh, here we go, garlic parmesan one. My fingers, like it's a lot of sauce. The chicken wings are good chicken wings. I'm not the biggest fan of the garlic parmesan sauce, only because I don't like cream sauces. So now I'm gonna sneak down to the bottom, see if I can find one of those honey sriracha ones. Maybe I can lift them up. Nope, oh, there it is, down at the bottom, I see it. I see you down there, oh, there it is. They oh, yo, they are so saucy. Look at this. I'm gonna try to get this one down here at the bottom. We gotta dig a little deeper. <laughs> now it's time for the honey sriracha. And look at those wings. I don't know. I'm gonna see. Be getting uh, kind of focus in on there. Looking good. Looking very good. I'm gonna try to push it and then eat the whole thing. You ever see that trick? It's like the viral uh, uh, chicken wing trick. I'm gonna see if it works. Let's see. So once you break that piece off, you should be able to just eat all of the chicken wing and then the bones will come right out. So we'll see if it works. Oh wow, the honey sriracha wings are so good. And also I got a little bit of the garlic on there, but it's not overpowering because the uh, flavors kind of blend together. But that is, wow, I like it. The honey sriracha ones, not so much the garlic parmesan ones. I would add a little bit of the garlic parmesan sauce in there, but not too much. Um, but yeah, that's kind of cool. I like that you can get wings in a water park. Wings in a water park. <laughs> I think we're all done eating now, and I want to get back in the water. In fact, I think I want to go back up to the top and go ride that big family raft ride. You know, the big blue tube ones that I was looking at uh, when we were standing at the top of uh, Summit Plummet. Uh, so I think we're going to head up there. I'll probably take the stairs again. Only because now the wait for the uh, ski lift is like a lot longer because it got backed up because it was down. Uh, yeah, so we're going to switch over to the GoPro and uh, ride some more rides. We could take the green slopes back up and go down Team Boat Springs, which is one of the world's largest group water raft slides. Wow, they have two world largest things here. Uh, and then there's also Slusher Gusher. Take the plunge of this 90 foot long high speed body slide. So there's a lot going on here. Or the toboggan races. Ah, maybe we should do Team Boat Springs. I don't know what they let me on on my own though, because it says it's like up to six people. So I don't know if they do single riders, but we'll find out. Luckily, I'm not going to be riding by myself because I ran into some friends. I literally yes. saw Nate. I'm like, Nate, what are you doing here? I had no idea this is your first time being here. That's yeah, awesome. That's literally, awesome. I was walking up. Oh, this is us. We're going. We're going in. <laughs> Yo, I'm so excited for scared. This is the best. Oh, my Lanta. Why am I backwards? I'm so dry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> that, that tape a... is new. Wait, the tape is new? Yeah, <laughs> the tape wasn't there before. <laughs> that tape wasn't there before. <laughs> oh, wow. This is actually longer than I thought. It's a very long ride. Yeah. 
surviving for a little oh. I like it a lot. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is nice actually. It's not too intense, it's more just like soothing, you feel me? Nothing yeah. like summit plummet. <laughs> no, no, nothing like summit plummet. This is, have you been on uh, the dual, Ooh. what's that one race? No, the double dipper. Have you been oh on the double dipper yet? No, but it sounds like a that weird thing. That my favorite one. You double dipper. <laughs> you, <laughs> it just sounds like a double, oh wow. What is that? Oh! Good up. Wow. Oh, God. oh my lanta! <laughs> <laughs> coming in hot! <laughs> oh, that was nice. I'd do that again. <laughs> that is amazing! It was nice to run into Jojo and Ryan, and actually that ride was a lot of fun. At first I didn't know what to expect because, you know what I mean, I never rode it before and it looked like it was kind of thrilling, but it turned into a very nice peaceful ride. It was very calming, like I, it was funny because the video started off, I'm like, ah, ah, because I don't know what's going to happen, and then all of a sudden I was like, wait a second, I kind of enjoy this. <laughs> it was nice, it was a beautiful family ride. So now uh, we're going to hang out a little more, go ride some more rides, and you know, just kind of enjoy the park, maybe grab a drink. Look at this, they have like a finish line. I love that, and actually it times you. Wow. We gotta go do this ride. I think this is the toboggan races. Toboggan racers. Huh. Oh, look at times it so you know who's the winner. That side won. That's cool, all right. I don't think I've ever used one of these mats before. And since this is the toboggan races, oh boy, gotta pull it out quick. There we go. Oh my Lanta. Yeah, right there. Four, okay. <laughs> Am I gonna fly on this? Okay, butt down. There we go. <laughs> the toboggans were real fun that was not like i said that was not the ride that i was riding well i wanted to ride i just ended up there like i don't know how it happened i was staring at that ride and i was like oh that looks cool and i thought that was the one and then i followed and it took me to a different one but i like that ride too and now uh i got redressed i'm ready to dry off the park closes at five and uh i think i'm gonna head out you know start making my way out of blizzard beach but it's been a fun day so far Another quick service location that they have here is like a lodge, like a skiing lodge. And I love how they have like snowboards and skis and a little fireplace over here. It's closed at the moment, but it looks like they've got some pretty good food. They got some burgers, some french fries, some flatbreads, Caesar salad, roasted chicken rice bowl. Look at that. Everything in here. Oh, oh, oh look at the little sleighs too. I would have liked to try it. I guess uh, they close these before the park actually closes. Like they close up the restaurants first. Surprisingly, I kind of like being at a water park where it's not hot. <laughs> you know, like it's like in the high 70s right now and I'm not like sweating, but it feels nice. It's not cold either. If it dropped down to the 60s, I'm not too sure I could be out here in the water though. You know what I mean? It would be a little bit cold. Uh, but luckily, Florida, it doesn't get down to the 60s that often. Well, during the day, it doesn't. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm kind of happy. Kind of happy it's happening in November. I'm driving back home now and the sun is setting on the golf course. Look at the buses. We're kind of at a standstill. This is where the Polynesian is and this traffic's been backed up for a while. Hope I can move up a little bit. The most beautiful dog on earth, Gracie girl. You like that song? Nope, not so much. I think she's gonna pee. Nope, she's gonna shake it off. Nope, Gracie decided to just sit here. All done? I, do you want me to rub your belly? I see. <laughs> All right. You're on your leash, though. <laughs> You're so funny. You're on your leash, though. I only threw that down. All right. 
me and Gracie decided to run to Dunkin' Donuts so we can grab ourselves a little coffee and a pup cup. I got my coffee. You want your pup cup? Huh? You want your pup cup? All right, here. You can have some of yours, I'll have some of mine. This is the way. Take him in the back. Thank you. Gracie is all hyped up on her pup cup now. Look at her. What? Gracie freaks out whenever you take her collar off. Watch this. I always like to show her because she's... <laughs> and with that, we are done here today. I hope you like the extra clips of Gracie girl. Uh, I know she uh, loves being in the videos, or I think she does. Oh, she really does. Sometimes she looks at me and she's like, she just gives you that look, and I'm like, oh, Gracie. And uh, I gotta take her to the pup, I gotta get her a pup cup and went to a dog park. We actually go to tons of dog parks every single morning. Me and Gracie go on an adventure. Uh, like, I, I have a real like kind of schedule, and the only schedule that I keep is with Gracie. Every single morning, we go and we have like 10 dog parks that we go and uh, we kind of like rotate and we visit. And we go everywhere. We go to Celebration, we go to Kissimmee, Davenport, Claremont. I think the farthest I probably went was Winter Park just to go to the dog park with Gracie because she likes variety. I wanted her to see the world, you know, and we've been up and down across states together. So, oh, all right, enough of the dog business. I don't even know why I went down to the dog park business, but, uh, oh, Blizzard Beach. I want to give you guys like my final thoughts on it because, you know, I said I wasn't a big fan. I'm not a big fan of water parks in general, and I've only been to like five water parks in my whole life. Like I, I, I've just never been like kind of excited to go to them. Typhoon Lagoon, I love, I think it's great and it's big and the wave pool there is amazing. Blizzard Beach, I think is all about the thrill rides. The water slides are so awesome, but the wave pool's not that big and the food, from what I heard, the food that I tried today, that was really good. The banana split churro and those wings. And the, the, like I said, the Parmesan sauce, I mean, I just didn't like it because I don't like that creamy sauce. But once I got a little taste of it with the regular like honey sriracha, I was like, all right, that's good. Uh, but before that, people said the food was bad. So I don't know. You know what I mean? I think Typhoon Lagoon is a better park as a whole. But Blizzard Beach is so much fun for like, I think, adults maybe. I know that they have like that new splash area there. But I didn't even get to go in and see it. I didn't even go over there. Honestly, I, I went into this place thinking Blizzard Beach is a small water park and I'm gonna knock out everything in a couple of hours and it was so much bigger than I thought I mean I, I feel like I got a lot done but the park was only open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. and I'm definitely going back just for this the, the ski lift I thought it was worth it and summit plumbing honestly when I first went down that I screamed and I was so afraid but now I just keep on thinking I want to go back and do it again I do <laughs> but anywho's I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you guys are ready for all of the holiday videos coming out because like I said uh, I have so much planned for the next week or two and it's everything that's happening here right at home I love it I love it when there's tons of events home so that you know what I mean I'm like I'm like all right we're gonna do this we're gonna do this we're gonna do this and that's what this week's like I got Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, Jollywood, I've got Universal Studios Grinchmas, Orlando Informer, the mini meetup, all this week. Oh, I got also a super, super cool thing that I'm doing. Um, I'm not too sure what day it is. It's really, really awesome. I can't wait for you guys to see some of the clips from it. Uh, actually, oh, oh man, I've been talking a while, but I want to show you something cool. Hold on. I just picked this up the other day and I wanted to show you guys because I am in love. This is an original ad for the uh, New York's World's Fair in 1964 and 1965. And I think it's just so cool. Look at this. World's Fair postcards by Dexter. So cool. I like vintage little advertisements and anything. I love anything from the uh, New York World's Fair in 1964 and 65. I will buy anything usually as long as it's affordable. Isn't that awesome? I saw it and I was like, I gotta get it. I love it. It's and, and you know what? I can't wait to decorate it once I move. I can't wait to put it up and I want to make like a little... Uh, 
treasure room. That's what I want. I want uh, I want a room to put all my thingamabobs. My thingamabobs. My, my thingamabobs. <laughs> so, anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.